The Packard Foundation has been working in the community of Los Altos since 1964. By living through the values of our founders, David and Lucille, our new office space will be a direct reflection of the Foundation's goal to protect and restore the Earth's natural systems for a world where all families can plan for their children and all children can reach their potential. As a member of the community of Los Altos, our goal with the 343 Second Street Building is to bring our operations into closer alignment with the conservation goals of our founders and trustees. What I love about it is that uh, it builds on the understated and uh, humble approach that the Packard family has taken to its facilities. It'll be coupled with this very strong message of looking to the future in building buildings and living in, in work office environments in a way that really uh, respects the environment. We looked a lot at existing buildings in the neighborhood and again we took our cues from the existing Packard Foundation and we really tried to design a building that would blend with that environment, use materials that were more rustic, a building that would really sit on the street well and really create a great presence. In early 2008 we decided at that time that we're going to use California's Global Warming Solutions Act, which is called AB32, to measure how well we're doing at reducing our carbon footprint and increasing our sustainability. The way the foundation will operate in this building is going to be completely new and set a standard for other people and other office buildings. We set out to make this a replicable project and it's going to be probably the greenest building that's been built in California ever. We're really excited about this building for a number of reasons. One is that it's going to allow us to bring the whole foundation together, which will be great for us. And of course, it's a beautiful building. I think a lot of people are thinking green and acting green, uh, but this project is not just the average green. This is at lead platinum level, which means that in a 100-point scale, we're targeting 88 points on the lead scale, to, and, and we, we may even exceed that. The other cool thing that the Packard Foundation sees in sustainability is that this building ought to be reproducible, so it can be built again. And they're using this as a model for other companies to say, look, we got net zero, you can too. The first step towards our goal of a lead platinum net zero energy building was a careful deconstruction of the existing buildings on site. It's a really highly sustainable job, and probably two of the most key items are that we're recycling everything we can. We were able to demo a whole city block and get almost 95% of all the waste diverted from landfill. So it all got recycled or reused in some way. Let's dig in. <laughs> At the groundbreaking ceremony, the enthusiasm from employees, trustees, and the community was brimming over as to what the future of this green building will hold. I think I'm excited about it most because it blends our commitment as a foundation to our work and especially our focus on conservation, uh, and also to the community of Los Altos and the history of the family that started the foundation. I'm really looking forward to taking this step of aligning our mission around conservation and energy efficiency, leading our country and our world and showing how to do that, aligning that with providing a wonderful meeting space for our grantees and staff, and really bringing our staff together in a way that'll just enhance our spirit of working together.